Alright. Ooh! I'm burnt. Spent all day at the water park. On my way to the gym now. About to hit this pull workout. Thinking of this earlier and I wanted to kind of express how I feel about it to you guys. I was at the gym, was it not last night, it was the night before, and I was taking my pre-workout. I uh, that I know comes up to me, um, he's, in, he's like one of those exchange students only here for the summer, or I don't know, he's, he's, I think he's of Russian descent, I can't really tell. Anyway, he comes in, he does a lot of powerlifting stuff, he has powerlifting shoes and he has belts and he has wraps and stuff, so I'm assuming that's like what he's into. Um, and I've heard him talk about, you know, steroids and, and, and things like that with other people in the gym, and I kind of just, you know, I, I can hear him, but I don't really, really pay attention to it. And he comes up to me and he says, he says, oh, hey, what, what supplements are you taking? And I tell him this, creatine, protein powder, when I need it, I have some aminos that I haven't opened yet. Uh, workout and just your basic vitamins and some L-carnitine here and there and he goes oh so just basic stuff then and I go yep you know I'm a natural bodybuilder and they don't the parameters for drug um, abuse are, are very long for those of you who don't know or compete in natural bodybuilding organizations the list the banned substance list is actually pretty long uh, I think there's things on there that you can like DHEA, you can't even use that, and they're just, they're, basically, they're, you really can't use much besides what I listed off, really, um, give or take a few other things, obviously, but, you know, I'm just, just the, just the essentials, and he goes, oh, you're natural, natural bodybuilder, and I go, yep, natural, just kind of, well, I was thinking about it, and Because I know that he's not natural, because I've heard him talk about uh, taking stuff before, and he's asked me about things, and um, just wanted to throw that out there for you guys. It really doesn't matter, like, if you're natty or not. I mean, here's the thing, is nobody, nobody really cares whether or not you're natty. I mean, it, it, it means something when you compete, yes. You know, versus like the MPC, which doesn't drug test, um, which are prone to have a lot of unnatural athletes, obviously. But when you're comparing natural bodybuilders to, to guys who are enhanced, there's just, there's just nothing you can do about it. Like, there, it's a night and day difference. You, you put somebody up on there that's natural against somebody who's not natural, and you're gonna be able to tell, obviously. Um, but whether or not it, it really matters to the regular, everyday person, it really doesn't. Whether you're natural, whether you're not natural, people, people don't really tend to care that much. Um, when they see you in the gym, I'm sure they're not thinking in their head, oh, you know, is he natural, is he not natural? I mean, I'm sure a lot of people throw judgment and be like, oh, he must be on steroids, but to the to the everyday person, it, it doesn't really matter. I don't think you should take, I think, I don't think you should be ashamed of, of not being natty or, you know, not taking anything. I think that you should be proud in, in whatever way, path you have chosen to take. I myself am, am very happy with the natural path and I plan to stay on the natural path for a very long time. Um, just because I don't I don't feel like I've, I've pushed my body to its natural limits yet. And I definitely want to do that before I you know, even think about taking anything else. But, I feel like we get we get so caught up in, in whether or not people are natural and you know this and that and what he's taking and 
I mean, it, it, it does not really a big deal in, in the big scheme of things. Like I said, if you're competing, obviously it's different. Obviously that's gonna be a huge deal is whether or not you're, you're natural, you know, based on where you, where you go to compete. But out here, you know, in the real world, I mean, no one, no one's really gonna think any different. People might throw judgment and be like, oh yeah, he's on steroids, but that's gonna be the end of it. They're not gonna, you know, it's just, it's really not a big deal. And I follow a lot of people on YouTube who are quote unquote natty and, and some who don't even claim natty, who people are saying uh, did claim and it's just, it's, it's all a shit show. And we're all worried, of, and everyone's all worried about the comment section, oh, he's on steroids, you're stupid if you don't think you can get that physique, you know, without steroids, or you're stupid if you don't think you can achieve that naturally. It, as long as they're, they're doing what they want to do and they're not harming anybody else in the process, why does it really matter? Why does it really matter if he's on steroids or he's taking gear or something? It, it, it really doesn't. And I think to discredit somebody for whether or not they're natural is, is kind of sad and it, it, it really disappoints me with the community. I feel as if we're torn between people who are natural and people who are not natural. And I, I would like to see everybody come together and I know I'm not speaking for everybody because I know there's people out there that I do get along, but I still I still feel like a rift is is kind of coming in between the community, and, and we're all here for the same purpose. We're all here for the same goals: to better ourselves, to better our bodies, you know, health, wellness, everything like that. And I get it that taking the the high amounts of HGH and the steroids is not good for your health. Absolutely, I'll be the first one to you know throw that out there. But if like there's this, there's this also this guy, this older guy that comes into my gym. He's about 70. He looks great for his age, he really does. He comes to the gym all the time and I see him and he talks to me about the same stuff every time and it's 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 great. Um, and he talks to everybody, he's just one of those people who he walks in and he just talks to everybody at the gym. Everybody knows him, you know, one of those kind of guys. And he was talking to me, he's like, oh yeah, those steroids and they, uh, you know, they do this and that to your bones and your heart and your kidney and your liver and all this stuff and I, I think that that's true but he kind of he kind of puts like a negative spin on it the way I don't know if he means to but the way it comes out is he kind of like he kind of dissing people who, who do do steroids and it, to a certain extent I feel like just his tone the way he comes off kind of makes it seem like like if I did take steroids and I was talking to him I'd be like okay like I don't want to talk to this guy because he doesn't really understand. And I feel like that's another thing we really need to, you know, learn is is education. Educated on the subject about steroids and, you know, how to take them and how to use them and how to cycle them and all that stuff is, we, we really need to be well educated on this before anybody can go out and speak about it. Um, because to the average human eye, steroids, you know, big no-no, but, you know, when you really look into people who are training and competing for certain reasons, and you really look um, deep into, you know, how much they're taking and what they're doing, and they could be completely healthy and still take a low amount of, uh, you know, a low dosage. And just to hear the word steroid and completely write people off for all the hard work they've achieved is, is absolutely nonsense and there's just no reason. Education is the number one ta is the number one thing that we need to do as a community of, you know, fitness fitness community. I feel like that's our job is to educate people and to really sit down, take the time out and be like, well you know what? You know, that's that's really cool that you took down you sat down and took the time to really explain to me why this person is taking steroids. And I know that that's not, that's not realistic. Obviously, we're not gonna sit down with everybody at our gym and tell them about steroids, but 
there just needs to be a general guideline for, you know, steroids and being natural and everything that we want to achieve. It, it's whatever we want. If I'm looking to be the best natural bodybuilder, then that, that's my dream. If somebody else is looking to be Mr. Olympia, that's their dream. It's, we, yes, we're working for the same stuff, but we're on completely different paths. You know, obviously, Mr. Olympia and, and you know, natural Mr. Olympia are, are two completely different things. But, I don't know, I feel like we really just need to, there needs to be more education out there about the topic, and we, we, we really can't write people off as fast as we do. Like when that guy told me that he took steroids, and I, I found out about a couple other people who take steroids at my gym, and I look at him, and I'm like, wow. You know, I never would have guessed. Just talking to him, just seeing him, never would have guessed that. And that's fine, that's okay. I don't look at people and be like, oh, he took steroids, oh, he's a piece of shit now. I don't think like that. I know some great people who, are, who have taken steroids and they're good people, guys, they're good people. And there's no reason to discredit them or, or, or shun them away from bodybuilding because they're not natural or shun them away from something. It, don't get me wrong. Baseball, football, I understand it. it's it's all um, PEDs is, is obviously not allowed. I'm talking about general community, people who lift, uh, competitors, you know, bodybuilders. That's really who I'm, who I'm, the audience I'm trying to grasp here is. And that doesn't mean that you should discredit football players either just because they take steroids. It doesn't mean they didn't put in hard work about it, how much work you're gonna put in but I will leave you guys with that because I'm about to go put in work myself on this pull day we'll see you in there